Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I have solo arena gameplay and I'm going to be breaking down everything I did in this game that eventually led up to getting the win. But first, I did get a new creator code, code SLNT in the item shop. If you guys want to support me, it resets every single two weeks and I would greatly appreciate that. If you guys do decide to use my code, let me know down in the comments below and I'll reply to you and also give you a heart. And with that being said guys, if you guys enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe with post notifications on and let's get into it. So I'm off spawn looting right now and I grab extra heals out of this ice chest and immediately I get shot. I block off myself from the enemy and I make sure to pop the shield fish. I slowly inch my way towards him while making sure to farm mats and gather loot. Now that I'm comfortable with the mats that I have, I use the sword to get above him. I see that he builds out of wood, so immediately I spray him down and get a good amount of damage on him. Now that I have a huge health advantage, I decide to go for height as well. He messes up right here by jumping down. He should have stayed on height, which allows me to get an easy one pump finish the fight just like that see an enemy farming the barrels so immediately i go for shots on him and tag him twice as i pull up on him i try to take more double edits around him so he can't run anywhere and i continue to pressure the box after failing to take his top i pretend to pickaxe and keep my shotgun out just in case he makes an edit he edits out through the side and we wind up cracking each other for a good amount of damage so I back up and decide to heal. Now we're box fighting and he makes an edit and instantly resets, meaning the wall is one shot. So I hit it once with my pickaxe and place a cone in his box and tag him for 76 damage. I make a peanut butter edit and he hides me on my wall, allowing me to not see him so I can't shoot him. He tries to edit out of his box and he gets stuck, so I get a beam on him. As I got a huge health advantage on him, I'm just making sure to constantly put pressure on him. I take his wall and I see that he edits down, so I stay to the side just in case, which allows me to get a one pump on him. As I'm running past this bush, I hear the leaves shake, which immediately tells me that there's someone camping in the bush. So I turn around and I go for a beam on them. This player and I decide to bloom battle each other and take some damage, but I had a lot of splashes, so I felt comfortable doing that. I'm on controller, so I take out the bush first, just so I can have aim assist. You guys didn't know, you have no aim assist when you're fighting near bushes or inside of bushes if you're on controller. I try to take his wall once and I fail, so I pickaxe one more time and I pull my gun out just in case he goes for an edit. I build up, I get a good shot on him, try to pickaxe multiple walls to make it harder for him to track me. I exploit into his box with the staircase behind me, and I get the elimination. What are you doing, my boy? Right here, I'm behind a player and I just get some tags on them. and immediately I push with my sword. He boxes up, so I try to place a staircase and take his wall at the same time. I get a staircase in his box, and I try to edit to the left and get all the builds around there just in case he was to exit out through that side, but he goes out the opposite way. He builds another box, so I decide to go underneath him and place a cone in his box just so I can try to take his wall. I fail to take his wall, so immediately I pickaxe once and then pull my shotgun out just because I know he's going to edit. I get a good shot on him, and now I just got to keep on applying the pressure. He's really weak, so this time I'm really confident just standing on the outside of his wall. I take his wall, make an edit, and get the elimination. And as soon as I do that, I make sure to use hard mats to cover my back so no one else comes in. Right here, I'm backing up because an opponent takes my wall, so I go to the side, make an edit, and fade him for 120. He tries to edit his cone to block me off, but if you notice, he only edits the front too, meaning on the far left side, I can actually exploit into his box. As soon as I noticed that, I got his wall one shot, switched to my pickaxe, exploited in, and got the elimination. So right here, there's a player above me and I'm waiting for a good chance to land on him with my sword. He actually hits me for a lot, so immediately I gotta back off and try to heal. I mess up one edit right here, which should've got me killed. But since I have this amazing mythic shotgun that does 250 damage, I get the elimination. Yeah, Fortnite, good job adding the most broken shotgun in the game. So right here, I'm coming up to a build fight and one of the players jumps down, so I go for a beam since he's in the open. Just like the other elimination, I put a staircase behind me and I exploit into his box. Pretty textbook stuff. Immediately, I build my own box just so I have more room to fight with. Right here, a player swords away from me and I just beam him. He's really weak, so of course I follow him with my sword, but he starts splashing and healing up like crazy. I see that he places a staircase, which means he's going to go through the top. So I try to put a high wall to stop him, which I do, but he places a flat through my wall, which stops me and makes me go around. Since he's weak, I'm just trying to constantly pressure him. But he did pop a slurp juice, and I already know he's probably almost full HP already. He's now above me, and I could have went for a shot, but I probably would have been 200 points, so I block him off. He swords away once again, and I get another few shots off on him. 
As I pull up to his box, I pickaxe once and pull my shotgun out just in case he made an edit. I get shot from the top, so I block myself off, and I turn around to hit a good shot on him again. Oh my god. This guy had so many heals because he winds up using like 12 more splashes. The player above me that was constantly spraying me wasn't making it easier as well. He's getting built out. At this point, I was kind of getting frustrated. I take his wall right here, but I make sure to reload my gun just in case. I see that he's waiting to flip his staircase. I make an edit, hide behind my wall, and try to fake him out with two shots with my SMG, and he immediately switched to my shotgun. He edits off through the top, swords to zone, and I crack him once again. At this point, I would not recommend to do what I was doing because I was in the open, chasing this guy non-stop. But he was getting so annoying to me, I had to get him out of the game. You already know I had to hit the dance on them. I didn't care. I had three slurps, so if I got shot a few times, I didn't mind. The only thing now is that I'm running out of mats. I did do this to myself, but zone does push back. Zone starts to move, and all I'm trying to do right now is use old builds for my cover and try to get an elimination to get mats. See a player that's tarping towards me, so I try to go into his tarp, and I just keep on spraying him while the other player is spraying him as well. I try to go for his wall, but height does spray me, so I block them off, and I go for one more attempt at taking his wall, but they spray me once again, so immediately I back off and rotate the zone. At this point, I have three builds left, and I need to find some old loot, or just get in on someone and try to get an elimination. Right now, I'm just lurking, waiting for the perfect opportunity to get a refresh. I get cracked, and I use the sword for my rotation. I see that there's an old base, so immediately I try to break into that and use that as my cover. Now I have zero mats, and I have to get an elimination. I dash forward, and since I have no mats and really nowhere to hide, I decide to go up and maybe try to land on somebody. And that works out perfectly, allowing me to get a 192 and get a refresh. Now my mats are looking really good, and I have a really high chance of winning this game. I see the heights really high up, so I decide to knock them out and take him myself. As he's falling, I hit a shot on him, and since he's the closest player to me and the other players on the ground, I make sure to keep most of my focus directly on him. I pick up the elimination, now it's a 1v1, I jump down and hit a good 50 shot on him. He does have height, but I do have the sword, and he's getting blocked by the tree, so I easily take height back. I drop down and I go for a peanut butter edit, and we do hit each other for an insane amount of damage. Since I have height, I have more of an advantage, allowing me to see him more than he can see me. So I drop down once again and pick up the elimination to win the game. And that wraps up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.